Morning guys, while the monkeys have a good old morning frolic behind me. Hello little man. Ooh. Um, just here at Saint Lemire, it's day I don't know what on our South Africa tour. Um, and we're heading to an amazing golf course this morning called Wild Coast. Down here in the South Coast region, just south of Durban, part of the uh, province of KwaZulu-Natal. And it's absolutely amazing how much the topography changes from place to place where we're going on this tour. So I've heard a lot of really good things about Wild Coast Golf Course. Supposedly it's very linksy, so again, completely different to everything we've experienced so far. Really looking forward to seeing it. So stay tuned and we'll bring you more action from another of South Africa's amazing golf courses. Played this course before, course before, Jason. Yeah, amazing track. And we're praying for no wind, is that right? We are praying for no wind because it can um, kind of hurt us in our current form. <laughs> uh, but I think teeing off before nine, ten o'clock, we're going to be we're going to be all right. Um, but yeah, there's some breathtaking holes, which I'm sure everybody's going to see fairly soon. Um, awesome. The viewpoints are. And again, the completely best. different from everything else we've played so far. Totally different. Um, more of a link style course. Yeah. Um, right on the coast, hence the name. And uh, yeah, a special place to play. I mean, again, some, there's some huge elevations here, so kind of like uh, Champagne, but um, the water replaces the uh, mountains here. Yeah, we'll look good. Wow. Where river meets sea. So two iron bangers are the order of the day, right? Two iron bangers all day long. Excellent news. Shame I don't have one. <laughs> Anybody want some more ammunition? Do we need some more? No, I bought some. That'll be all pretty well. Morning, how are you? Hello. Hi, you? Good, thank you. Uh, we're teeing off at 8.40. Oh, we've got a tea time. Thank you so much. That's good news, I thought it was 8.30. Why does she look so confused? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> she, she literally looked at you. I, I think I just mother. <laughs> I did have a camera stuck in her. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> Enjoy the weather. Poor <laughs> girl. <laughs> that look. Oh, we've got a tea time. <laughs> followed us out. Just arrived at Wild Coast Golf Club, uh, literally 20 minutes down the road from Saint Lemire where we were playing yesterday, which kind of points to one of the points I made in yesterday's video as well about the concentration of golf courses in this south coast area, setting yourself up for a lovely golf tour with plenty of convenience and plenty of great courses. And as you can see, course looking right out over the Indian Ocean. What a setting for a golf course this is. Really looking forward to playing this one. I've heard it's extremely different to the ones we've played so far on the tour. Robert Trent Jones design course and the 12th hole is one of the top 18 holes in the whole of South Africa called Green Mamba. Looking forward to seeing that one. Did you know that Jason? What's that? 12th hole, apparently one of the best 18 holes in all of South Africa. Par 3? Par 5. <laughs> oh, good Green Mamba. Dog leg left, par five, sweeps through the gorge. I smell the some valley. sort of challenge coming on that Absolutely, hole, I reckon. Yeah. But We're going to see the next hole after that as well. That's yeah. pretty special as well. Awesome. Well, let's get going and uh, see what this golf course has to offer. Great shot. Yeah. I'll have a loose in that. Strike. Bit big, maybe? No, it's fine. Good shot. That Look, looked that's, a good yeah, line. That's, that's good. All right, Roz, slightly wrong on the Yadas. Definitely. Um, and this is a little bit soft down here, I like it. But as you said a week ago, this place was suffering from the floods, wasn't it? It was, this would have been underwater. 
Wow, the knees went there. <laughs> Go on the thin bullet. Good mate, well done. Oh. Come on Jay Lawns, roll it in. Birdie on the first. Needs to be hit. That was a good line with a bit more weight. Pick it up. In for four. Four. So this to share the points with Jason and for me to have my customary zero. No. 4-1-1. One, one. Good start Jason, well played. Thanks guys. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the weather. Local tip when in South Africa, always have bill tong. Oh yeah. Right, three holes in, quick score update. Mr. Launder leading the way on seven, despite not picking up anything on the last. <laughs> not worth Tragedy, that is it? Tid is second place on six, and then of course, yours truly on five, but I did just get four points, so it's a lot closer now than it was five minutes ago. Indeed. But look at this. Par three, 130, playing basically to a green on the edge of the earth. Yep, Nothing like you but. said, who needs 200 plus yard par threes? Exactly. Great views These are there. the best par threes in the world. Nicely protected by bunkers, death long. Yes, please. Mumbers yes, on the right. right. Mumbers on the right, mumbers on the left. All right, Roars, 130, what you got? I've got a chippy little nine, so I want to try and keep it down out of the wind a little bit. Are those knees going to buckle again? <laughs> Probably now that you said that. It's <laughs> a good shot. Good wind. Should just. Oh, oh, members bounce. Yeah, it's yep. just crept up there. Peace. Well done. Today's 130. You got more oomph, that yeah, one. Five or six well. on. Little nine as well. <laughs> Turned upside down. Lovely strike. Needs to go a bit, I think, boy. Yeah, that's fine. It's almost pin eye. Yeah, decent. 25, 30 feet. Mr. Launder, wedge. Wedgie. Wedge. Going straight at it. Just use the wind a little bit here if I can. Knock it past. Dribble it back somewhere near the hole. That wind needs to hit that hard. It's trying. Very close to being a nice shot. Could get the kick off the slope that I got as well though. We oh, shall see. Mr. Launder for a two. I'm guessing he bounced down that slope a little bit. Giving that a good rip, I think. That was good pace. Yeah, great Very pace good. Good three. Pick it up. Oh my god, just go home. Why would you go home when you've got yeah. that? Maybe I'll just... Stick it out for a while. Let's go down to the beach and leave golf below. <laughs> We want you to have all the points. These guys are being very minutes. generous, yeah? I think it's uh, on Raw's first. Massive toe hook with a putter. This could be some sort of turn around here. Oh, 
Side door. Me. Side door. Yep, I think with that four pointer that'll take you to nine rolls. I'm basically just getting four pointers on the holes where you guys just bang it out, it out of bounds <laughs> off the tee and I just complete the hole. <laughs> well, it doesn't need to know that. <laughs> Another absolute banger of a short par three. That monkey. This is a bit of all right. <laughs> Understatement? Yeah. <laughs> right, so par 5 12th, the green mamba. Not much to aim into, pretty much the whole way up the hole. Playing towards a waterfall in the far distance, we'll see that when we get to the green, but. According to a fair few publications, one of the best 18 holes in all of South Africa. And standing up here, you can definitely see why. Hands up who loves an elevate, elevated tee shot. <laughs> yeah. Send it. <laughs> Wind's picking up as well, so this is a very challenging hole. So after a perfect tee shot, I've still got a lot on my hands to be making my part. Just managed to sneak over the corner of these trees after a pretty duffy seven iron. Now I've got the problem of having this thick, juicy lie in this very sticky African rough. As you can see, the green is really raised up from where I am down here. Also playing pretty downwind, so I'm going to have to lob this on up pretty high to get any chance of stopping this near the pin. But anything on the green and a two putt on this stunning part five, I'll take that all day long. Totally see why that's ranked so highly in South Africa. Absolutely stunning par five. Fortunately, bag to six, but the strike on the second and the strike on the third certainly didn't deserve a par anyway. But, you know, can't be too unhappy about making bogeys in a place like this. And apparently, the 13th is equally spectacular, so let's go check that out. I mean, this is probably my favourite hole in golf. In 
all of golf. In all of golf. It is a stunner. I'm just going to walk up to the edge of the tee and have a little look. Oh. Well, Ted is, if you're going to duff one short of the green, mate, this is a good hole yeah, for doing yeah, it on. Absolutely. <laughs> So we're going to call it a day after this hole, aren't we? A bit under time pressure, but what a hole to finish on. Been a close-ish game most of the way around, but just look at the surroundings. What I can't really get my head around is just the utter ridiculousness of the variety here. Like we've played how many courses now? This is our fourth? Fourth, yeah. And they are nowhere near alike so far. No, They're all great, great in their own different ways, but... Yeah. And then, what's Selborne like this afternoon? Different again? Completely different again. Yeah. Yeah. More inland, parkland sort of feel. So similar to the front line here, uh, but just a bit more parklandy. Okay. Well, let's see if we can all hit this green and finish in a bit of style, shall we? Okay. Yeah. Come on, Jalons, close out Wild Coast in style. Certainly try. Get in. Boom. Yes, please. I told you it was my favorite. <laughs> well played, sir. Some good Cheers, golf Rob. today. Cheers, mate. What a place. That's so beautiful. Special, isn't it? Ah, just, I just absolutely adore it, yeah. Yeah, it's fun as well. It's only 6,400 yards from, yeah. the, from the tips. And I was reading something earlier as we were doing a bit of brushing up on the course. And they had a South African PGA event here a few years back and we obviously got an amazing day from the wind. Yep. It's really not whipping that much. No. It's picked up a little bit. But they were saying they were hitting anything from little flicks with wedges to five irons from the tee we just played from, depending on the day, because the wind changed so much. So it gives you an idea of the nature of the golf course. It just depends what day you catch it on, basically. But if it's a day like this, it's playable for pretty much anyone at that 6,400 yard mark. And even if the wind is whipping, just bring your camera. Bring your camera. Yeah. Bring your camera. Have Stunning fun. Game. What a place. Right. On to Selborne, boys. Yep. So, unfortunately, all done here at Wild Coast. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, whack that thumbs up button on. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with the rest of our South Africa tour. We've got some more golf this afternoon at Selborne, which is one of Richard's favourite courses in South Africa. So, very much looking forward to seeing that. Got about an hour and a half drive to get there now, so we've got to hit the road. Unfortunately, not able to finish this spectacular course. I'm going to do some editing in the car, and hopefully, we'll see you down at Selborne. Yeah.